Good afternoon, everyone. David Paul speaking. Uh, it's about 25 past six on the uh, 10th of May. I'm looking at the front page of VectorVest, and uh, uh, the UK markets had a really good run, as we all know. Uh, on VectorVest, the short term trend is up, uh, and the longer term underlying trend is up as well. And as you can see, our measure uh, of the trend uh, is a little pointers uh, firmly in the green, and VectorVest advocates buying safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price at this time. Now, I'm going to look at a share that's been in the press recently and probably been in the press for all the wrong reasons. Persimmons, uh, index builder, uh, and uh, it's trading at £27 odd. First of all, Vectorvest believes it's worth 37 so it's significantly undervalued by our measure. It's up 23 pence yesterday. Uh, which is not a proprietary number. Uh, you can get that on the standard for free, but the valuation is a proprietary number. The relative value, which is a measure of the price potential over a window of three years in relation to a treble A rated corporate bond, uh, on a scale between 0 and 2 at 1.49 is excellent. The relative safety on a scale between 0 and 2 at 1.35 is also excellent. This is a company that's making lots and lots and lots of money and all those ghastly financial ratios are getting better. Uh, relative timing at 1.29 is saying the trend is strong and uh, it's got a very strong a master indicator VST at 1.37. It's on a buy recommendation with a stop loss at uh, £25. Uh, so everything uh, on uh, the vector vest metrics looking really good so let's look at the chart uh, so here's the chart now chart looks really cool to me first of all it's my standard layout uh, green is the vector vest valuation uh, this blue uh, line study is earnings per share and as we can see earnings per share over the last two and a half years growing strongly that's the brexit vote when we thought the world was going to fall apart and uh, as you can see uh, Red here meant run for cover, and our first buy signal on VectorVest came in at under £20. And that buy signal, apart from a few periods where we sh it was on a hold, hold means hold, uh, sweat it out, uh, uh, and it's been on a, a hold or a buy ever since. Uh, so a very good timing signal. But I think what's more important is what's going to happen next. Uh, it's pushing up the page. It's on a buy recommendation now. Uh, I like the look of this little flag formation, and it's broken from the flag. Clearly, it's got to get through these old highs. Uh, from this low, uh, I am, and uh, I'm counting uh, one wave, a second wave, a third wave, a fourth wave, and a fifth wave. So I believe that we're moving into the fifth wave up. Uh, and uh, for those of you that are Elliott fans, uh, interestingly enough, Wave 4 should be a 38% retracement of Wave 3. And that's exactly what happened to the tick. So uh, many Fibonacci analysts and Elliott analysts reckon that the Wave 5 is the most predictable of all the moves. And I would expect that Persimmons is going to break these new highs and move up towards our valuation of about £35 uh, over the next weeks and months. It's not going to run, uh, it's not going to shoot the lights out, uh, but I think that... Uh, uh, this share looks as if it wants to break much higher and this is probably a proxy for the rest of the builders as well however ladies and gentlemen this wave is starting to get mature as is the whole market of course but I think it's got weeks and months uh, to run towards this 35 pounds level I uh, hope you find that useful thanks very much bye bye now